Let's go to a guy whose name we don't know, but we welcome him anyway. You're on 105.9 The X. Hey, Mark. I tell you what, man. You've been the king for years in the Pittsburgh media, and I'm so upset on Twitter right now. Bloggers in the press box, don't get me started, first of all. But the Penn's blog, or what they're doing, uh, saying Pittsburgh media kings, this and that, just a bunch of jealousy, man. Like, uh, you know, I've been a blogger myself trying to compete with you. There's no competing with the king, you know what I mean? What are these kids going to learn? Well, well, Josh, there's no competing with professionals. That goes for you, that goes for the Plains blog, that goes for everybody. Like, somebody like Seth Rorobo at the Post-Gazette, he blogs, but he's a professional. He's a full-time journalist. Anybody who is a fan and does a fan's blog, it could be interesting. But even that interesting aspect, the witty aspect, the fun aspect, that comes with a definite expiration date. And a lot of blogs around here, especially, yeah, you said it, the Penn's blog, is hit the expiration date. It's not cool and nobody really cares anymore because it's staffed by amateurs. Even the best amateur is still an amateur. If an amateur remains an amateur indefinitely, and does it become a professional? There's a reason for that. Sorry, but it's true. It's damn true. And, and these blogs like to then get revenge on me for saying stuff like that by ridiculing me on their blog. Gee, I'd hate for the couple hundred people who read that to think less of me. I don't know what I would do if that would happen. 412-333-9939. And with all due respect to the Penguins and to Jason Seidling and Jen Bellano, and I got a feeling this decision comes from above because I can't see them doing that if they were left to their own devices. Fanboy bloggers should not be in the press box. They should not ever, not once, be in the press box. There is no reason for them to be there. Is that catering to them, trying to win their favor? Why do you give a flying fornication what these fanboys think of you? Let them buy a ticket like everybody else. They can do what they do just as easily sitting in the stands or at home in front of their TVs as they can sitting in the press box. Having a blogger sit in the press box is a gratuitous insult to a professional like me. Never mind a professional like Dave Molinari or Mike Lang, guys who have covered the team seemingly since the beginning. It's just not right. It's not professional. They are not professionals. 412-333-9939. I will say this about Britt McHenry. I can't find any record of her having dated athletes. 